Welcome to my channel Kaji Data Online. So this evening I'm going to give you an idea how to run sentiment analysis in Orange Data Mining Software. So if you are new uh, to my channel, so please don't forget to um, subscribe and put a comment down there if you've got any question regarding this tutorial. Okay, let us begin. So um, the sentiment analysis is actually a um, analysis that we are going to uh, further understand the structure of a word, whether the word contain um, positive statement or negative statements towards a certain post. So for this particular example, we are going to extract the comment from the Facebook. And after that, we are going to analyze the sentiment from that particular comment and make further analysis. All right, let's begin with this particular exercise. So previously, um, in Malaysia, uh, our Minister of Education has already uh, made some sort of uh, immediate um, immediate uh, resignation so based on the certain, uh, certain, certain um, advice from uh, top management of uh, Malaysian government. So this is actually being extracted uh, from his uh, official um, page, Dr. Mazli Malik. So if you know about Dr. Mazli Mazli, he is one of the uh, former Minister of Education. And this is uh, his comment or his uh, information regarding the infographic uh, of the Minister of Education achievement during 2019. And we can see here we have approximate uh, 356 uh, comment. And we are going to extract all of this comment. And then we are going to make a further analysis uh, based on his comment, based on the public comment here, whether there is a positive comment or negative comment towards this post. Okay, to do that, firstly, uh, we have to go to this uh, link. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, I'm so sorry about this. Uh, okay, I have to go back. All right, so we go back. Uh, sorry about the disturbance just now. Okay, go to this link. You can see 13 December 2019. Right click and then copy link. After you copy the link and you proceed with this website. Okay, so the website is named as a commentexporter.com. So commentexporter.com is a free uh, services but if you need more extractions of the command you can sort of subscribe for three US dollar for three days unlimited usage okay so to do that I'm going to um, paste um, the link that already been copied from Dr. Mazli Malik uh, infographic post and after that uh, hit the download button and the command exporter.com are going to export all of this data so we have this one, Y, it, K, Y, I agree, and export. Uh, we have to wait a few minutes uh, until the process of uh, downloading and extraction, uh, the metadata from this uh, post is finished. So just to give you some information, this is the Malay language actually. So to run the appropriate and proper sentiment analysis using the um, English algorithm, you have to convert the Malay language into the English language. So after this, you are going to obtain the Excel file in Malay command. So based on that Malay command, actually, we have to transform it. We have to translate it into English language using a Google Drive. And after that, uh, we can make further analysis using the um, Orange Data Mining software. So the um, command is already finished. So I have to remove the previous command so that you don't have to be confused about this uh, idea. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, okay. All right. I'm so sorry. All right. So let us rename this file as Muzzly. And then I'm going to open the Muzzly.sls. So this is the Malay versions of the command. So you can see here. We have 300 something command here and then I'm going to highlight all of this command and then I'm going to copy it and paste it somewhere so that we can translate this Malay word into English word. How to do that? We have to go to our Google Drive. So the first one, go to Google 
and then proceed to your Google Drive account. After that, go to your new and request for the new sheet. Okay. So in the new sheets here, I'm going to translate the Malay language into English language. So you can see here Malay into English. English. Okay. So um, we paste the command in the Malay column. And then we have to make some adjustment by instructing uh, this particular Google Sheet to trans to trans uh, transform the Malay language into English language. Okay, to do that, I have to move it over here, right? So that you can see it's equal. So you type here as Google Translate. You see this one? You translate and ask the computer to recognize this E two cells. You see E two comma. And then in bracket, um, you have to spell out as MY. So MY is for Malay. And then you indicate comma. You make a bracket also over there. The upper key, uh, the bracket uh, for the EN. EN is the coding for English language. So you have to hit the enter button. So after you hit the enter button, so you can see here, uh, the word is already being... Um, it's already being changed into the oh sorry not my i'm so sorry about this ms ms i'm so sorry this is the third time i made this similar mistake okay not ms okay malaysia or malay language must use the ms okay all right so after that you after you finish this um column you can drag it down here so that the google sheets can automatically uh, transform and translate all of the information and all of the malay word into english word or malay sentences into english sentences okay so you have to wait a few minutes uh, it depends on your internet connectivity and then um, after a few seconds i think a few minutes uh, we can have the uh, translated versions of Malay command into English command. So you can see here, well done, Minister YB. So orang because the the English cannot translate this one. So orang is uh, what we call it as a you are something like that. Okay, so we have to wait for a while. So um because um because we're still waiting for this uh, Google Sheets to perform their work and task. Let us open our software. So this is orange data mining. Okay, if you haven't heard about it, you can go to the down uh, link uh, in this particular video. So you can download it. It's a free website. It's a very powerful uh, predictive analytics software. So after you open your orange, so please go to the option button and please uh, insert the suitable and on for this analysis. So this particular analysis are going to require that orange tree text 0 0.7.5 versions or higher than that uh, for this particular exercise okay so i've already installed this one so if you not install it um, there is some explanation here indicate uh, install example eh? if i want to install this one I click this one you say install okay i don't want to install this one but i i want you all to install the orange tree dash text okay so orange tree dash text are going to produce something like this to you because as default, you only have data, visualize, model, evaluate, unsupervised. Um, that's all. So if you are keen to learn more about predictive analytics, so this is the right channel for you. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I think the Google, yeah, the Google Sheets already help, uh, already uh, help me to translate all of these uh, Malay comment, and then we are going to extract all these Malay comment. And put it somewhere here as the English comment. So to make your file more beautiful, you can um, sort of having some housekeeping where you remove the unnecessarily uh, column and rows, and then don't forget to give the name of this new row as English. Okay, so English is the the one because we already uh, convert the command. The Malay comment. So this one you can put, call it as Malay. So Malay comment is already being uh, transformed into English comment. And then this is our ID, number one, number two. 
so you can just uh, drag it straight away uh, to understand that we have approximately 303 uh, samples or 303 command uh, for uh, minister, our former Minister of Education uh, post regarding the infographic of the uh, Ministry of Education achievement. Okay. So the next step is actually you have to save this um, Excel file into CSV file. So go to the file, save as, and then proceed to the locations of your uh, required data set to be saved. Uh, for example, this one, Masli. I'm going to save it under the CSV file. So uh, the computer automatically are going to save that one and I'm going to close everything else and open only our orange. Okay, so this is the old one. I'm going to remove this one to make uh, myself not confusing. So this is our data, masli.csv. Alright, so to begin with, you have to import this masli.csv file into the orange canvas. And we can make uh, some manipulation of the data after that to uh, measure the level of sentiments um, based on uh, public Boost uh, available in uh, Dr. Mazli Malik um, official page. Okay, so to begin with, go to the text mining and then go to the corpus and double click to the corpus and browse accordingly your file. So my file will be mazli.cnv and after that, I'm going to um, make some changes because I want to um, measure the features called English. So actually the data also available in uh, in the description below. So if you are so lazy to manipulate and just to straight away using the orange data mining technique to learn about sentiment analysis, you can just download it straight away. No problem. Okay. But of course, it's not updated. Okay. All right. So this is our corpus. And after that, you can proceed with the word cloud. So word cloud help you to give some idea. Okay, example, I'm going to insert this link from Corpus to Word Cloud and double click on the Word Cloud. Um, automatically, the orange data mining giving you uh, some sort of clouds, which is the uh, the most outstanding one, is one of the uh, prominent keyword. Unfortunately, all of this is actually a connective word that is not relevant to our analysis. Therefore, we have to make some stop word because the stop word are going to help us to um, sort of segregate all of this uh, punctuation, uh, connectivity word, um, and so on. Okay, to do that, we have to request for the pre-processing text. Okay, so you double click on the pre-processed text here. And then um, you try to make a line from corpus to pre-processed text. And then you double click on it. And then we have it uh, being setting up as default. And I love this one, stop word. You can just browse your specific stop word. Okay, what I meant by stop word, let me uh, give you some idea. The uh, stop word is something like this. You know? uh, we have um, the, the, the numbers of the word that are maybe relevant to our... Uh, sentence but it's not meaningful for our analysis for example in this comment we are going to see the good and the bad i mean the positive sentiment and negative sentiment we do not want to know about the are how many are how many uh, very how many is and so on is going to be filtered by the computer to do that of course you have to spell out for this uh, uh, for this widget or we call it as the uh, widget is a pre-processed text Okay, double click on it and then request for the stop word you can make your own stop word so if you um, want to download also the stop word it's available uh, in the descriptions also so after you uh, put the stop word over there so you can request the word cloud so as i said you can either click this one or you can just proceed with the line and automatically you release your keyboard uh, or your mouse and automatically they give you some option and I'm going to request for the word cloud. So after clicking to the new word cloud, you see, uh, all the R, E, S, E, and so on is already gone. So now this is the idea, you see. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to remove the Masli, you see, because the Masli is, uh, is the people that we are going to analyze anyway. So uh, we must include the Masli 
the Dr. Masli name uh, inside our stop word so that it's much more meaningful, right? So to do that, just go to my stop word and type his name, Masli, and then perhaps his father's name. Okay, Masli Mali is M L E K. Uh, let me see. I afraid I Masli Mali. Okay, sorry, M A Z L E E. Masli Mali M E S Z M E S Z M E S Z. Okay, M E S Z M E E. Okay, so I can just shift over there, and we can uh, we can rerun back our our data here. Um, upload back our stop word so that it's going to reanalyze again our data and it's already there all right so this is the clouds map indicated um, the most prominent word in uh, the sentence that given by the command uh, based on whatever being published in uh, Dr. Mazli Malik post uh, regarding the infographic of the achievement so you can see here we have congratulations on MOE good many in thanks best student people government and so on so to further analyze about this uh, um, word perhaps you can filter it more uh, towards the pre-processing text for the stop words which is um, the, the word that you think that need to be polished example uh, the HTTPS you see all these things can be uh, filtered anyway so never mind you can do that later on so for this particular exercise um, I'm just going to proceed with another widget we call it as the sentiment analysis to do that after you pre-process the text you can um, try to establish another linkages here and release your mouse and request for the sentiment analysis you can type it send sentiment analysis so sentiment analysis is actually um, the widget that are going to help you to give the loading in terms of the numerical values what kind of the numbers are going to be produced the positive higher number indicate that positive um, positive statement or positive sentiment uh, negative higher values indicate that negative statement and so on and so forth you see and then the zero indicate the uh, neutral condition okay so after you put the sentiment analysis here you can double click on it and i'm going to use the liu hu algorithm all right and the last but not least the process is actually you are going to uh, produce a table here you can request a table and connect those sentiment analysis into a specific table and you are going to double click this table to see the sentiment analysis score, you see, this is all the sentiment analysis score. So we have 150, 33, okay, we have uh, zero, so zero means um, neutral. And then we have a very negative one, you see, the very negative one around minus 33. So you can have a look uh, what kind of the word that are uh, indicated about the uh, negative one, you see, uh, this is the, the, the not nice word okay and so on lah it's already there so um to make sense of all this analysis actually you can further um, draw another line and then you can save you can save the data okay you can double click and then you can save the data and um, you are going to save the data for example to desktop i'm going to use it as sent and then i'm going to make it as a csv file also okay so uh, another uh, file is already being produced here sent sentiment, sentiment analysis with the numbers uh, or we call it as a score there all right i'm so sorry i have been making some mistake here because i'm not completely um, request for all of the data so perhaps we can um, highlight everything here like this then we can uh, remove this one we we'll highlight everything already good and then we draw another line and request for the save data and we save it and name as sent and then we can override it yes override it <coughs> i'm so sorry about this okay <coughs> so our sentiment analysis 
loading marks is already being produced by our uh, computer <coughs> so this is our uh, sentiment continuous this is our string value the name of the people uh, who are going to report or giving the 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 command okay so let us make this one much more easier for us to filter okay so you can just go this one and filter and perhaps you can filter the most positive and the most negative and then you can make uh, some sort of uh, further analysis to see what is the mean standard deviation something like that to see the central tendenciness of the uh, sentiments that are already been created based on that particular post so this is one of the idea uh, this is one of the very powerful tools to further analyze about a uh, certain words that are already being talked about uh, in the public uh, regarding a certain post that we made in the facebook so um, that's all guys i think um, i'm going to end up my videos here so hopefully you learn something about how you can extract the data from the facebook and after that um, translate the Malay or any other languages into English language and copy those languages and extract it into the CSV form and use the orange data mining technique to see the most prominent uh, sentiment that uh, the people already argue uh, each other. Okay, with that, thank you very much. See you again on the next video on how to use the uh, um, analytical software to solve and give you some more inside decisions of your data analytics. Bye-bye. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like. If you have any question regarding this analysis and also technique, please don't uh, feel free to ask me. Inshallah, I'll try my best to answer your inquiry. With that, Assalamualaikum, bye-bye, and see you on the next video. Happy using Orange. Bye-bye.